What is up YouTube? Welcome to another Delhi guide. In this video, we're going to cover different openings for Delhi, specifically two of my favorite ones that I came out with from testing a bunch of variations. I'll also include like timings as well for these different openings so you can kind of make decision for yourself when to use which build order and whatnot. Um, so I did test a few different openings. So one of them was like getting a delayed mill and using sheep in the opening. But I found like you were delaying wheelbarrow by over a minute or so. You were aging up slightly faster, but it, it just wasn't worth it. Um, I, I came to the conclusion it, like you weren't improving your sanctity time by enough to justify delaying your wheelbarrow by that much. So we're just steering clear of sheep openings. It's just not an option, I feel, for Delhi. In this, in this video guide, I won't be covering the fastest way to age with Delhi because in most, in almost all situations, I feel like that that is not going to be the best option as a Delhi player. So there's a few things that makes Delhi so strong, right? There's the early sanctity and then there's the, obviously the free techs, but there's also the moss techs, which are actually really, really powerful. Honestly, this is why Delhi is so strong. So the first obvious one being sanctity, you get extra gold. The The other ones like efficient production, piety, and the increased scholar healing, they are super underrated um, and essential for a Delhi early game, in my opinion. Using scholars in fights has become super meta with Delhi. So the earlier you can use them, they're also the harder they are to snipe and the more impact they're going to have in a fight, which is why I don't neglect the mosque in age one. In this video, I'm going to cover two different openings that I came to the conclusion were my favorite. And as you can see on the screen right now, I've got a bunch of timings for both of these. So the first build is going to be us building an instant mosque. And this is going to allow us, as discussed previously, to get efficient production and piety in age one. Now, this does mean we will be having a four minute 40 age up, resulting in a more delayed sanctity of seven minutes 35. Now, keep in mind, these sanctity timings are assuming that you put all of your scholars straight into the mosque. But in most of your games, you're actually going to be using these for efficient production. So it's, pro it's more realistically likely to be later than the seven minute 35. And I'm keeping it consistent ab across both these tests. Either way, this build is going to be 20 seconds delayed with your age up and also sanctity compared to the second build, which I'll be running through. And this is a delayed mosque. So we're going to have less guys chopping wood and our mosque will come down right before we start aging, which actually gives us the time to get efficient production before we hit age two. And then we get sanctity in straight after that. So the first build, 440 age up roughly. Uh, 430 wheelbarrow and a 735 sanctity if you have all three scholars going straight into the mosque. And the second build is going to be a 420 age up roughly, 430 wheelbarrow as well, but a 715 sanctity. Now keep in mind the main difference between these builds is that um, the first build you'll get piety or the increased scholar healing, and the second build you will not get that until after you've completed the sanctity. So it Depends on how much you're using your scholars for healing in combat and how much you value that tech. Personally, I value that tech quite highly, which is why I think I will be going with the 440 age up option. I haven't played a bunch of games with the new patch, but I have tested a bunch of build orders. And these are the two that I recommend for people that as a consistent opener. So take a look at these builds, make it a judgment call for yourself. Let me know in the comments if you found a build for yourself or you have any comments on these builds in which you think they could be optimized. So right before we get into the game, we're going to send across four villages onto a lumber camp and wood. We're going to send one to a mill and we're going to send one to a build a mosque. All right, let's jump in here. Okay, let's go build a lumber camp. We'll grab these two, build a mill, build a mosque, queue bills. I should have queued bills first there. That was a little bit of a mistake. Nonetheless, we're going to send three of these guys to start chopping straight away because the more you have building this, the less efficient it is for them to be building. So each villager on top of the first field is going to become less efficient at building the lumber camp there. So as soon as that's built, we're getting wheelbarrow, we're getting forestry. This guy's going to come back to food and we're going to get efficient production and piety in queue. 
Now we're going to force a manual drop off here with our wood choppers to get the wood for a house. I'm going to build a house so that it's ready just in time here. Continue scouting obviously with your scout. He doesn't need to come back to drop off sheep because we're on berries at the moment. And once we have the wood here for a mining camp, we're going to do so. I'm going to drop off here, send two across to gold and two onto sheep here. Now, once we do that, we're going to send all new bills to sheep for a second here. Continue scouting. Make sure you have your text in queue. Make sure you're actually building the mining camp here. Once you have eight on food, we're going to send our next one to gold, and then we're going to send one more to food. Now it's a little bit of a lull in the action here. But this build is focusing on getting piety, obviously, in age one, so that we can have better fights with our scholars. Uh, it is going to result in a delayed uh, delayed sanctity, but in most cases, you'll be delayed anyway because you need to fight in order to get those uh, get the sacred sites. So we've got nine on food, three on gold here, and we are sending new bills across to wood. Now, obviously, at this stage, you want to be going across to your opponent's side seeing where their resource points are and things like that just so you know um for future purposes and also you want to be scouting as you're aging up to see what their macro is like see what military buildings are coming down i'm gonna bring across one gold bill here i'm gonna manually drop off here so we can age up actually build it closer to our um to our mosque here so we have less walking time for our scholars and the macro while we're aging here is what we want is five on food two on gold then the rest are coming to wood the guys building the dome of faith after they're done they're going to come across to berries as well and start getting food obviously this is going to vary a bit depending on what units you're going to make in age two but you can readjust that macro accordingly once you have your military buildings down Gonna build a house with our wood uh, food bill here. Ask our dome of faith preemptively. And now we just wait for the age up. As you can see, Piety's gonna finish right as we hit age two, which is what we want. So we're gonna have efficient production and piety. This is essentially getting all the same benefits you were in the previous patch, but your age up is delayed a little bit. Obviously you have to make the difference with the 50 wood that was taken away in the patch. Um, but we're still getting a reasonable time in 430, 440. And we're going to have the, the wood for a military production building here. In this example, we'll just build a stable. Get your text in straight away, obviously, with the priority of sanctity, herbal medicine, and then all seeing I. Make sure you get all your ecotechs, do your scholars straight away. And that's the opening for this build. Um, obviously with this build, you really want to be utilizing your scholars in early fights as you did sacrifice time in order to get your piety in age one, which just means your scholars are going to be just under 50% more tanky. And if you're going like horseman archers from here, you want to go roughly 50, 50 on food and wood as like Horsemen are very expensive on food. You also need train villages, build extra buildings. So roughly a 50-50 is a good option if you're going for this unit comp. Um, so that's the opening, the first opening. Um, I will jump into the second opening now. And you can speak with future Snooper. Peace out.
Alright guys, so we are going to go all onto berries that for two, which are gonna come build a lumber camp. And we're gonna send our new bills for us to berries. Notice how I started building this with a bunch of bills and then I took them all off to go to berries. That's just to, again to improve your efficiency there so that they start gathering uh, rather than all building. If they all build the mill at the same time, uh, each bill that is kind of building on top of the original one bill is less efficient than the single bill itself. So that's why I'm doing that. That's why I've also done it with the lumber camp. Small efficiencies, but they add a few seconds, or I should say cut a few seconds off your age, age time, which is all, always really good. Um, so we're going six on food, one of them to build a house, and then we're going to start sending two bills across to gold here. Continue scouting with your scout. Now, with this this variation of the build, this does focus on getting a mosque in transition. Um, and there is ways to make this a quicker build order. I don't deny that at all. But for me personally, as a deli main, I value efficient production as soon as I age, um, as it, it just gives you the most flexibility uh, with with the deli sieve. It also gives you. A, like a much better chance of capturing sacred sites with more units. You can potentially catch your opponent off guard with less units than you because they have to invest in more military buildings. So we're going six on food, two to gold, and then we're coming back to food here. Doing it with sheep because these guys are going to build the landmark. And now that we have the res to build a mosque, we're going to do so. And we're actually going to send one to gold. Rest are coming onto food here until we have nine on food. This guy is building the mosque, going back to wood. And then we're going to get efficient production. Now keep in mind with this variation of the build, if efficient production is going to be finished as you age. As you can see here, it's going to finish at around 410-ish. So right before you age, it's going to be come in. Nearly got the gold to age, nearly got the food to age. We can manually drop off if we wanted to. So we're going to do that. And we're going to build the mosque. We're going to send new bills to wood here. Ooh. So we should have a total of five. I accidentally put one too many on food there. Um, and a gold bill should come across the build. So this is a little bit delayed, so this is probably going to be like 5 seconds later than what you actually should be aged up. So you get, whoops, you get the general idea of um, what the build incorporates. So this build, I tested it, it, you age around 20 seconds faster, meaning that you're going to have Sanctity um, 20 seconds earlier. You're also going to get efficient production, uh, but you're not going to get things like piety. Um, so I haven't tested these builds enough to know which one I like better yet. Um, there's arguments for both, but I think like getting your age one text is like really important as Deli. Like the, the piety increasing your scholar health by 40, it makes them not viable at all to target in early fights, meaning you have extra healing with like minimal risk, right? You're probably not going to lose your scholar because you have piety. Whereas if you didn't have piety, it's a lot easier to snipe these bad boys. We, we check the health of these. So it's at 90 right now and you add an extra 40. That's like 50% extra health. Just under 50 anyway. So we're going to age up 420-ish here. Realistically, it should be um, slightly before 420, but we did send that gold bill a little bit late. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to send all our bills to food from this landmark, and then you can choose whether you want to go like stable. Make sure you get your text. Make sure you get efficient production. I mean, sorry, sanctity, piety, and all that good stuff. And this is the other build, guys. So. This will give you like a choice on what, what you find to be more suitable build order for you. If you enjoyed the video guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are nearly at the 1000 subscriber mark, 
So I would love to be able to push there within the next couple of weeks. So any support, if you enjoy the content, would really appreciate it. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.